G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to do something I haven't done for a very long time, and that's light up the forge. Well, it's raining outside. I'm six weeks post-surgery. It feels like it's only been two weeks because of a lot of it I can't remember. Um, but I'm bored out of my brains. So I figured, you can hear that rain, I'm gonna play with some uh, fire today. I've had lots of visitors while I've been off and my bottle opener supply has really diminished because I generally give one away every time someone comes to visit me, hint. <laughs> so anyway, um, I need to make some more. So what better therapy to wax some metal and um, have a bit of fun. It's been ages, let's do this. And we might even fire up the power hammer today for a bit of fun, annoy the neighbors. She's loud and that's why I don't use it much, but works like a treat and uh, I'll give you a look. Well, while that's crackalackling along nicely, we'll, um, I'll just plug in the power hammer. Engine's running beautiful, look at that little guy. Someone asked me the other day about the horsepower. I don't even know, what is it? Horsepower, a third. Look at that. Focus, a third horsepower. Tiny! But, the old girl, Still works a treat. Works a treat. So we'll um we'll give that a run soon. But yeah, doesn't take a lot of power. I guess the ratio is nice and low too, so. some new stock um, a while back off a of mate which is still in my boot it's been in my boot for about three months um, of my car so I might go and grab that stuff some of it anyway it's a fair bit of weight that's why I never got it out but I'll um, go and get that and uh, we'll start so once I've done this first couple of um, bottle openers we'll get my rhythm back and then we'll uh, get in some high speed production with this other metal Bottle opener number one for 2018. Nearly the end of 2018. There you go, there's some of that stock that I got given. It's 10 millimeter or just a smidge over 3.8. Um, let's have a play with this and let's make a chunky man's bottle opener. Chunky man's.
There you go, there's number two, the big chunky one as opposed to this guy. Fair bit weightier, a bit more of a man one. And it reminds me why I built a power hammer because the arm pump's already giving me a hard time just with those two little guys. So I'm about to put some stock and do it now in here. And we'll get this power hammer fired up and we'll see how she goes, eh? Just for a bit of fun. The neighbours hate the thing, but um, it's fun. It's so loud. It's industrially loud. That's one problem I have with the thing. It is super loud, but anyway, I've got my earmuffs and it's the middle of the day, so who cares? Let's do it. So how does the power hammer go? It goes pretty darn good. Pretty cool. So I guess the next question is, can it forge well? Let's try that. Well, there you go, a little power hammer update. I'm about done. I hope you enjoyed that. A little bit of fun for the first time back. I don't want to overdo it, I'm still a bit sore. But I got to make a couple, and I'm pretty happy with that. They're a little rough and ready, but they open beers, I guarantee it. Anyway, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to put a link at the end of the uh, video with the power hammer build if you haven't already seen that. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this stuff. Um, I'm going to be doing a fair bit more of it. We're going to try and uh, get the shine on top of this anvil again. And um, anyway, that's it from me. I've had a good day. Stay tuned, be good to your mates, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you on the next one. Cheers. Take it easy.